There is an old saying among us old time pathologists, which we have always remembered, is that when a lymphoma metastasizes to the liver, it frequently shows a periportal pattern of infiltrate. When a leukemia involves the liver extensively, it frequently is around central veins and sinusoids. Here is a liver. You can see that instantly. And if not, I'll be glad to show you some nice cords and sinuses. Notice that dispersed throughout the parenchyma, throughout the sinuses and perhaps central vein areas, you can see these infiltrates uh, all over the place of cells. Notice that although we see a rather normal appearance to the hepatocytes, that we see about a third of the liver or maybe a fourth or fifth is involved with these cells. They appear to be diffusely infiltrating like a malignancy. The vast majority of cells in this area, although some are true inflammatory cells, in other words, neutrophils or lymphocytes, are blast cells. This is the way a leukemia involves the liver. And it's often not portal, but it's central lobular or sinusoidal. Although I do agree that if you do go to a portal area like here, you'll see some blast cells around there as well. But if you step back again and look, see here's a portal area, here's a central vein, portal du uh, bile duct and hepatic artery. This is also largely blast in here. But if you step back and look at the big picture, most of the infiltrates that you see in this liver are not in portal areas. There are areas like here and here and here and here and here. And even from this power, you can see this. This is a case of acute myeloid leukemia that is involving the liver. I don't expect you to know the diagnosis just from this. In fact, it might even be hard at this point without the benefit of special stains or a uh, higher power to even convince you these are blasts. All you know is that they are cells in all honesty that look individual like leukemia cells can and they're kind of dispersed patchily all throughout the liver. Thank you very much.